Well, this is a request um, that I got. How do I get pictures from my Aperture program onto a CD? Really, there isn't a, a direct way to just kind of export things or burn things into a, a CD. So I came up with this solution that I think will work really well. What I recommend doing is putting your blank CD into the computer first. And we'll see that uh, show up on the computer screen in a moment. It tells us we inserted a blank CD and what action would I like to do? Well, I'd like to just open it in Finder. That'll be fine with me. So if it doesn't automatically open it in Finder, we can just go over here to our Finder. So here we see it showed up as our untitled, that's our CD-ROM. So now we'll go into our Aperture program and if it's not already open, go ahead and open that up and then pick whichever set of pictures you want to put on the CD. So here's some pictures I had of my grandkids that I took and I'm going to select a few. You can select one, you can select multiples. Um, I like this particular view, however you don't have to go with this view. You can go and use the browser view and select pictures that way. Whichever way you like to work, that's uh, perfectly fine. I like to just kind of drag my mouse and grab a group of these, but you can individually hold the command key down and just pick additional ones. You can take some out if you're holding the command key. So whatever pictures you want, we're going to select those. Now you're going to right mouse click to bring up this menu, or alternately you can go up here to file and export. And we're going to export the versions, whichever way you prefer to do it, both will work. And it's going to bring up this dialog box. Now, I always use the JPEG's original size. That'll give you the exact thing you had. And the one thing you need to do is go over here and pick where you want these to be um, sent to. So we want to send them directly to that untitled CD. All right, that's important. And then go ahead and click. So if we've got untitled CD, original size, go ahead and export those versions. This may take a little time. And it says, there we go, It's uh, we can reveal it in the finder if we're ready to go ahead and burn the CD, but maybe we want to add some other pictures. I'm just going to click OK, and we'll go to a different group of pictures that I took. And uh, here's some that I took uh, by the campfire that were kind of neat. I'm going to grab those and add those to the CD. So again, I select those. This time I'll right mouse click, go to the export, versions. The nice thing is once you've done that, it's going to automatically default to where you've picked. So it's going to the untitled CD. And there we can see the ones that I put in there before, export versions. Again, maybe there's some more I want to add to this. So I'm going to go, uh, we, we went to the Slammers game a little while back here. I grabbed some pictures from that baseball game I want to add to the DVD also. Again, different way to do it. We can go up here to the file, export versions. And there they are showing up there, so we're going to go ahead and export those. This time I'm ready to burn it, so I'm going to show me reveal in the finder. And here's my finder. It came up, but it didn't pick the untitled, which is the one I want to check here. So I'm going to click on that. And there we can see all the images are showing up. Now, if you see this, we're good to go. We've got the images into the disk. However, we need to burn that disk, so it's not ready. If you would just go ahead and eject it, you got nothing. So we're going to go ahead and oops, click this little button here and it's going to say are you sure you want to burn the contents yes I am you can give it a name so VixPix 2012 burn speed yeah, that's fine I usually leave it like that we don't need to save it so we'll go ahead and we'll hit the burn this will take a few minutes so don't be surprised if you're watching this and we'll speed it up with the magic of cameras. So now it went into the verifying stage, so it's showing that it's checking the disk to make sure everything's there. So again, keep in mind, this may be a kind of a lengthy several minute project just to burn the disk, and if your disk just pops out, you've done something wrong. And we're almost done here with the verifying process, and that's it. At this point, my disk is now ready. I can go ahead and hit my eject button, and my CD-ROM is ready to roll. Now, I'm just going to put that back in just to show you that this is now going to come up as a disk that's been written on and not an 
a new disk. Now once you place your disk you want to bring up your finder and ah, here we go VixPix 2012. Remember we did give it a name. There's our CD-ROM. If we go ahead and click on that we should be able to see what pictures are in it. Right now it's reading it and there's our list of the pictures and if we click on an individual picture there it is. And again we can preview any of these pictures. If you hit the space bar it'll bring up the quick preview and you can go ahead and make a, a quick look at these so touch any picture hit the quick preview and it'll bring up the pictures or if you want to just double click on it you'll actually be able to see there's your picture and it's loaded up in preview so there we are we have a successful way now to get pictures from your aperture program onto a CD-ROM